In a video obtained by TMZ Sports, you're seeing Marley Rivera on the left, Aaron Judge front and center signing autographs, and Rivera signaling to her right. That is of Yvonne Gate, a fellow reporter who is in the field working that day at Yankee Stadium. Because of a disagreement, you will see Rivera on the left say, what a effing, see you next Tuesday, and then you see Yvonne Gate's reaction. Video obtained by TMZ Sports shows what some are calling the worst of the worst when it comes to exchanges between members of the media and potential protocol that some go through, especially when there is a more senior media member on the scene. Others have said this is absolutely trash and undeserving. Her time at the Worldwide Leader has now come to a close after a controversial exchange went down. But there's more to it than just the words used, apparently. The comment was directed at fellow reporter Ivan Gaiti, who was working on assignment for Tokyo Broadcasting covering Shohei Otani. The New York Post's Andrew Marshan would report an incident went down at Yankee Stadium, where Rivera reserved time to interview Yankee star outfielder Aaron Judge. She told Ivan this, and Ivan ignored Rivera. During the heat of the disagreement, Rivera said the words, Effing, see you next Tuesday. Rivera would tell Marshan she tried to apologize. However, those efforts were rebuffed. She would release the following statement. I fully accept responsibility for what I said, which I should not have. There were extenuating circumstances, but that in no way is an excuse for my actions. I am a professional with a sterling reputation across baseball, and I do believe that I am being singled out by a group of individuals with whom I have a long history of professional disagreements. Rivera would admit she and her fellow reporter have had disagreements in the past. However, on the singled out front, there's this piece of information. Yvonne's husband is a man named John Blundell. Now, John Blundell is the Vice President of Communications at Major League Baseball. This is a position he has held for 27 years per his LinkedIn. In the wake of this news, Rivera nuked her Twitter account. She had been at ESPN for 13 years. If one were to try and find her bio off ESPN.com, this would be the result. A 404 error for the page. This all comes after she gave an interview, and I want to get this right, to Sports Talk New York on YouTube. And she was discussing her mentor and what she has learned working in the field. Here is that interview. She changed the game by being a, a woman of color doing it. And not only that, she taught me so many things along the way that, I, you know, we don't have that much time here. So I'm not going to spend telling you everything that Claire Smith taught me because that's going to take a really long time. But the number one thing that Claire Smith has and that I try to have is kindness. This business, unfortunately, is not very kind. And I feel that that's sort of what you have to exude. And I think that people would think that it's all about baseball, whatever. No, it's about, like, I think that's my biggest lesson from Claire Smith. Be kind. Gay T, with over 116,000 followers on Twitter, has not commented on the topic after requests from Marshan at the Post. The Daily Beast in a short write-up, would put it like this. ESPN confirmed that Rivera, quote, no longer works here, close quote, in a statement. News of Rivera's firing comes after reports that Tucker Carlson's penchant for the C-word may have also contributed to his shock firing from Fox News this week. 